Ortiz, Beach Bad Boys. This is your baby. This is Frank Mary. This is Rich Franklin. I'm Kenny Florian. This is me, Keith Jardine. This is Quinn Rampage Jackson over here. The world's, the world's greatest fighting magazine and the essential fighting website, fightersonlymag.com, presents the Fighters Only Radio Show. Welcome, everyone. It's Gary Alexander for fightersonlymag.com here with Clay Guida. Clay, how are you? I'm doing good, Gary. Thanks for having me on the show, man. Absolutely. You know, uh, one of the things that I got to say about you that I tell everyone is that any time that Clay Guida is on the card, it is going to be an outstanding, exciting fight. So it's worth the money just for that bout alone. And uh, I want to say thank you very much for what you've done for the MMA fans so far this year, even being nominated for Fight of the Year with Diego Sanchez at the World MMA Awards coming up. How does that make you feel? Oh, it's an honor, man. You guys always treat me real well. You guys always give me a lot of exposure, and um, you, you always mix it up to different questions, good interviews, and stuff like that. And it's not the same old magazine. It's not the same old, you know, boring questions and stuff. You guys always, you know, treated me real well, and my family and stuff. You know, I know you guys have interviewed my parents, I think, a couple times, and uh, it's a, it's a delight to be, you know, part of the team, man. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, but uh, tell me a little bit of what you, what you what have you been doing in Memphis, man? There's not a whole lot to do around Memphis. What have you been doing? It's cold too. I tell you what, man, I heard it's like five degrees back in Chicago with the wind chill. I think it's like negative 10. And uh, Memphis is well, it's probably 40 degrees out here. So, I mean, it's not warm by any means. But, uh, you know, it's, it's nice. And we've been checking out Beale Street a little bit. We went and got uh, we got some barbecue ribs yesterday. And then uh, my brother and a couple of my coaches just got in town. And they went. I went down with them and I watched them eat some homemade deep-fried burgers, some deep-fried cheeseburgers. So we've been checking out the... Uh, the culture around here a little bit. It's a cool, cool little town, man. I'm excited. Did you go to Graceland, see Elvis's place? Uh, we have not yet. We'll probably do. I'm here till Monday, so I'm definitely gonna. Uh, that's gonna be on my list, man. Oh, well, you got to do some twittering from there, man. Or get some of those up on the website. I need some photos of you at Graceland with Elvis's stuff. Oh, it'd be awesome, man. It'd be great. Well, uh, obviously, you said you know you weren't able to eat those uh, those fried cheeseburgers or whatever was going down on Bill Street. But uh, you're getting ready for this fight with Kenny Florian. Where's your mind at? How you, how how's uh, how is things going for this fight? Oh man, I tell you what, it's the biggest fight of my life. Obviously, every fight's bigger than the next. You know what I mean? But um, bigger than one in the past. I, I, I'm always positive, man. You guys know that too. I'm always thinking about the bigger. The bigger picture, you know, what what fight is going to you know position me to get back in the you know lightweight title contention? And I, I to me, Kenny is still the number two fighter out there, you know, until Diego does something about it, you know, Saturday night. Right now, I think Kenny's the number two fighter in the world in the UFC and um, outside of myself. So I beat him, and this you know that it, posi- it positions us real well to get us back in lightweight contention. Kenny's one of the most improved guys from the show, I think, uh, from his time on The Ultimate Fighter. He's one of the most improved guys. How do you evaluate him uh, talent-wise as, as an opponent? He's very, very, you know, it's for, it, as little fights as he has, he's very experienced. I think he's, what, only 11 and 4, maybe? He might have, you know, 15 or 16 fights, something like that. But, uh, you know, he, he's 33 years old, and, he, you know, you can tell he's definitely taken the sport, you know, by storm. He's, you know, he was undersized at 185 and made the finals. You know what I mean? Which is very impressive. Now he's down at 155. He's a larger opponent. He's, you know, he's got some height on him. He's got, you know, a good reach advantage. You know, he's a very rangy fighter. He's very precise in his strikes. Um, he gains confidence throughout the fight when he lands his kicks and his punches and stuff like that. And he's going to try to keep the fight on the outside. We're not going to be phased by that. We're going to be in his face, you know, in and out, um, creating, you know, just, uh, you know, just a. a Tough atmosphere for him. We're going to be in his face, like every, treat him like every other fighter. But I'm not going to rush to take downs. You know, I'm going to strike with him until I feel comfortable. Where I put him on his back and uh, go for the, you know, go for the finish. Has he fought anybody like you so far in his career? No, sir. Uh, Nobody has. Until they get in there with me, they don't know what it, they don't know what it's like fighting a Tasmanian devil, man. <laughs> you know, Diego had some luck with, uh, with he had some success with uppercuts in your fight in your last fight. Was that? Was that due to to you not being able to see due to your hair? No, you know what, Diego. Uh, you know he came out with a strong pace, and um, you know he came out bringing strikes, you know, forward. And I think Ken is a fighter. Ken is a different fighter in the fact that he, you know, he does. He's more of a counter fighter, but I think he has become a, the aggressor in his past fights. If you look, he's moving forward and trying to take guys down. His last couple fights, you know, he was attempting to take BJ down, didn't have much luck with it, and he came out and he took uh, Joe Stevenson down. So they're very different fighters, but as far as uppercuts go, no, it was just I was kind of you know a little deep. Uh, Diego strikes, but you know, you know he dropped me right away in the first. You know he got the first round and stuff like that. But we're not gonna uh, 
it's going to be a different story to tell Saturday night. Uh, well, I can t- I can tell from just your attitude from the last time I saw you at the Palms that uh, you've put the Diego fight behind you, as you do with every fight, and you ha- come out with that positive attitude. And I can tell from uh, speaking with you before that, that this fight means a lot to you. It actually probably means more to you than the Diego fight did uh, in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, back-to-back losses is no good in the sport, man, especially on the level that I'm on right now. Um Two losses in a row will put me right back down, you know, in just the mix of these, you know, lightweight fighters, which is a deep pool. A big win over Kenny Florian, I think it separates us from the pack. It, it, like I said, it gets it separates us from the rest of the lightweight division and gets me back up in top one, two, or three guys in the world right now. And uh, that's right where we need to be. I want that belt, you know, in 2010. I'm going to do anything to get it, get it around my waist. I think the winner of this fight with you and Kenny Florian fights, uh, in my opinion, fights either, either. Uh, Tight, um, pardon me, uh, Gray, Gray Maynard or either uh, Frankie Edgar, and the winner of that should get a title shot. Yeah, you know what, anything's possible. I think those guys both have some big wins. You know, it's uh, Gray kind of, you know, big brother him um, a year, over a year ago when uh, Gray and, and Frankie fought. So, and then you know, Diaz beat, uh, you know, beat Gray Maynard on the on the show, but Gray's a completely different fighter since then. So. It's real interesting to see how the uh, lightweight division right now is panning out. There's a lot of, a lot of good things going on. Well, you're definitely uh, one of the top oh, guys man. in that division. I'm looking forward to this fight. Tell me a little bit about, real quick, what it means to you to be nominated for Fight of the Year at the World Mixed Martial Arts Awards. Oh, that's an honor, man. You guys always you know, put me up there with the, you know, the biggest names and stuff like that. And uh, it, Like I said, words can't really put it into uh, you know, the way I feel about you know, how thankful I am to be up there with, you know, the, the Randy Couture's and stuff like that, and the Nogueras and the Anderson Silva's, you know, with them guys. You know, they're always fight of the, you know, fight of the year, knockout submission of the year, best fighter of the year and stuff like that. So, you know, granted, it's it's from a loss, but it takes two fighters to be, you know, to make a great fight. And uh, I congratulate Diego, uh, you know, on that as well. And uh, it's an honor, once again, to, you know, be part of, uh, you know, Fighters Only, you know, and it's going to be, you know, Saturday night. Who knows? You guys might have another fight of the year on your hands. Hey, that's what I'm looking forward to. That kind of attitude is great. The fans have voted you uh, as one of the top five to nominate. Uh, and the fans, i got to tell you, go to Versus.com on December 30th to watch that event live. Clay, are you going to be uh, at the event here in Vegas? I'm looking forward to it. I will see you guys, and I'll be all dressed up, man. Looking forward to it. Well, we can't wait to see you on Saturday night. Good luck against Kenny Florian. Thank you very much, Kerry. Appreciate everything. I want to thank MMAStop.com and MMAStop Fight Management. And I also want to thank, uh, check out BuySilverStar.com, the new Clay Guida walkout shirt for this fight. Sick. And also FightNetCustoms.com. Check it out, new business I started. We're just launching a website. You guys are going to love it. You've been listening to the Fighters Only Radio Show from the world's greatest fighting magazine and the essential fighting website, FightersOnlyMag.com. The Fighters Only Radio.